This is an introduction to Docsera, the document assembly software, where you can take any of your existing forms and turn them into automated forms that exercise their own intelligence. The basic idea in a Docsera form is to fill in this questionnaire at the bottom of the form. Here I've filled in a couple of names along with pronouns, he, she, it, or they. And then when I click this fill button on the Docsera toolbar, Docsera completes the form, taking all of the information in that questionnaire and popping it up into the form here. This is a pretty simple form to start with, but even this one includes some nice formatting tricks where the date has been formatted one way here and another way down here. And the dollar amount has been expanded into words here and numerals here. And all of these singular plural words and pronouns and verb forms have all been adjusted automatically according to the pronoun that I selected down in the questionnaire. This form is a little more complex and I'm going to use it to show you how to load answers. Here I've got a questionnaire that is not filled in yet and I'm going to click the Save Load button and choose a set of answers that I saved previously when I filled in a different form and load those same answers into this form so I can reuse information that I typed into a different form. This form asks for a signing attorney and this drop-down box here is pulling from a list of attorneys that I maintain separately in a master list. It also includes bar association numbers for each of these attorneys. I'll choose Barry as the signing attorney on this document. And then when I click the fill but button, Docsrox completes the form and gets all my verb forms correct, pulls in not only the name of that attorney, but also the bar association number which it got from the master list, which is saved separately. This form shows off Doxera's math features. Here I have a questionnaire that asks how much apples cost, a price per pound, sales tax percentage, and how much money I have. When I use this form by clicking the fill button, Doxera completes the math calculations and tells me I have five dollars, both in words and numbers, and it calculates that I'm able to buy three full pounds of apples. The total price will be 486 including sales tax and it lets me know I'll have 14 cents left over. Doxera includes a full set of math functions so that you can do amortizations, uh, absolutely any, any sort of calculations you like right here in a Word document. Doxera is also able to produce entire sets of forms all at once. I'm clicking start to start the process here. I have several different form sets. This corporate form set in, includes an annual vote, bylaws, certificates, and minutes. I'm going to create all four of those documents at once. I click the go button. And Docsera examined all four of those forms and built a new questionnaire which is composed of all the questions that are necessary to answer all four of those forms. Rather than type in my answers from scratch, I'm going to load some answers that I saved previously. There's all my answers filled in, a list of shareholders with the number of shares held, and when I click the fill button here, it's going to create all four of these forms in finished form. I click it now and click OK. And there's form number one, two, three, four finished documents. Here's minutes of an annual meeting signed by all the shareholders. Here's certificates of ownership, one for John Doe who owns 50 shares, one for Jane Smith who owns 25 shares, and so on down through the list of shareholders. Here's a bylaws, and an annual meeting document. All finished at once. I'm going to run that one more time because I want to show you how Docsera can automatically save each of those finished documents. I'm clicking the fill button again, and this time I'm going to tell it automatically name and save finished documents. I choose a location where I want the finished documents to be saved, I've chosen this folder on my desktop, which is empty at the moment. 
and I choose how I want to name the finished documents. Here I've chosen to put the word ACME at the front of each file name, the name of the form in the middle of each file name, and a date at the end of each file name. I'll click OK to produce those finished documents again, and this time, as it creates each finished document, it is saving and naming it in this location. There's all four of my finished documents named the way I want them to and ready to go. Doxera also allows me to build a library of frequently used passages which I can save in what are called folios. Then anytime I need to access one of those passages, I click the Fetch button here, choose a folio that I'm interested in. I will look in the Jury Instructions folio. And here I have several jury instructions to choose from. If I'm not sure which one I want, I can filter those results. Here I'm choosing to show only the jury instructions that are related to motor vehicles. That gives me a smaller, smaller set. I select the one that I want, click the Fetch button, and the text is inserted into my document. These passages can include any formatting, any footnotes, endnotes, anything you can put in a Word document can be included in a folio passage. Also, when searching for folio passages, I can search for text that's contained inside the passage, full text searching. And here's a form that really shows off a lot of Doxera's intelligence. I've set, set up this form so that it will fetch information from external sources automatically, rather than me having to go out and find it myself. The fetch commands here, 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 and here are going to go out and find the appropriate information to insert in this document based on the choices that are made in this questionnaire. I'll click the Fill button right now. Doxara processes the form. And you'll see these colored passages coming in. I've col colored them just so that it's clear to you what's been inserted. Here it has inserted information about a particular hospital based on the hospital I selected in the questionnaire. Here, information about a particular doctor that I selected in the questionnaire. And it's making these decisions based on logic that's built into the form. In fact, you can create all sorts of conditions in Doxera to alter the appearance of the finished document. Those conditions can be driven by logic, math, dates, words, tags, almost anything you can imagine. Doxera is the easiest to use and most powerful document automation software in the world. You can download Doxera now and complete your first form in less than 10 minutes.